Rewrite that in exponential form quickly. Five, ten seconds max to write that in exponential form. So if you rewrite in exponential form, base 10 stays base 10. Logarithms are always equal to the exponent, so y is the exponent, so 10 to the y, and then it's equal to that. I'm flipping it into exponential form when we go to graph it to make our xy table. It'll be easier for you to pick y values first. So if y is 0, y is 0, what's 10 to the 0 power? x is 1. So right away you have your intercept at 1, 0. Now think back to the exponential graphs. We already drew one that, you know, it's coming along the x-axis, hits 0, 1, and it keeps on going. What do you know about inverse functions? What happens with the x and the y? They just flip, right? So if your intercept for the exponential is 0 comma 1, the intercept on the logarithm has to be 1 comma 0, right? Let's do uh, some other colors now. So I'm going to go when uh, y is 1, 2, 3, what's happening? When y is 1, what do I get? 10. When y is 2, what do I get? 100. When y is 3, what do I get? So when y is 1, that thing, when you look at a logarithmic graph, it explodes off the graph going to the right. I mean, I've only moved up one vertically, and I'm already you know, basically off our normal screen on the calculator, right? So, what happens on the other side, though, when you do your negative 1, your negative 2, your negative 3? So now we're going to start moving down on the y-axis. What do you do with negative exponents? 10 to the negative 1 is 1 tenth or 0 0.1, 1 one hundredth or 0 0.01. And one one thousandth, or point zero zero one. So when you go down one, you're already at a tenth. You're pretty darn close to the x-axis, and you need to get closer there. So so exponential, you draw it in the air, just right here, and logarithms come up along the y-axis, and then shoot up to the right. So I'll circle this one in red. I'll do this one in green. So y equals log base 10 of x plus 2. What are we doing to the graph if I put x plus 2 in it? Everything to the left, 2. So my intercept now would come over here, and that'll be negative 1, 0. There was a vertical asymptote right on the y-axis. Right? Our graph came up along the x or the, excuse me, the y-axis here. So now on this green one, it'll follow this vertical asymptote. We'll hit there. Not really sure. You know, we're not equipped yet to really talk about what's the law. You know, you can hit log base two on your calculator if you want or log base 10 up to, and then subtract 1. But it's going to hit here and shoot way out to the right. What does the last one do? 
the x plus 2 graph shifts it down 1. Oh, I, should, I said, I think I said subtract 1. Um, so I know that comes down to here. And if that hit there, it's going to hit there. But it follows the same vertical asymptote hits there. And it should be one lower than the green one. So they all have this general shape coming up from the bottom, following some vertical line, hitting the x-axis somewhere, and then shooting out to the right.